Hello again, everyone. It's Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the NautilusDryDocs.com. And I have a new product I'm excited to share with you. We're going to be opening it up for pre orders. Just a little taste of things to come. So, if you follow my channel, and I sincerely hope that you do, You'll know that we've been working on this 170 second scale German class 212 submarine kit for a little while in the hopes of being able to create an RC submarine kit that is a little bit more economical to purchase, help you get into the hobby, or if you're already in it, have an absolute blast operating it. And I'm happy to report that journey has come to an end. All right, let's take a look at things here. Now this, as I said, is prototype. It's got a very basic paint job on it, uh, but you can see the amazing details in this hull. Now this is actually a 3D printed hull, but don't let that fool you. This was done on a commercial printer in high strength plastic at ultra high resolution. This is exceptionally durable. And as you can tell, there's very little evidence of any sort of striation or anything like that because this was not filament printed. Uh, it was commercially sintered uh, and it is of a material that is very, very durable and flexible, which is absolutely awesome. Not only does it look amazing, but it performs really well as well. As an RC Submariner of over 20 years, I can say this is one of the funnest boats I've ever had the opportunity to drive. Now, this setup is a little bit different than the standard one that you'll normally see me put together. Uh, normally, these boats are cut in what's called uh, either an L cut, longitudinally along the hull, or a Z cut where it comes down uh, and drops down there. This is one of the first bayonet style submarines that I would be offering. That setup, um, when done properly, works really well. Let's take a look at how that works. Just give it a, a little bit of a twist, not even a quarter of a turn, and then you can slide everything right out of the boat. Now what you've got is full access to the watertight compartment. Now, one thing that you'll notice, uh, or will not notice, is a ballast Tank. This is a dynamic diving submarine. Um, because of the way that it's set up, it was really ideally suited for like swimming pools or small bodies of water. Bringing it up to full surface waterline was not uh, a major consideration for us. Simplicity, reliability, and performance. Those were the things that we were really going after. And obviously, ease of manufacture and building for people uh, when they are doing that themselves. What we've got here is uh, our three inch easy driver. We've got our, uh, our rear servos in there, our main brushless drive motor, um, receiver, uh, electronic speed controller, and then we've got it set up with a uh, remote switch and a pitch controller, um, but that's all optional stuff. You don't need it. It adds cost and a little bit of complexity, but it does make it a little easier to drive and a lot easier to turn on and off. Uh, powering everything, you can see in the bottom, we've got a huge, beefy uh, 3300 milliamp hour 3S lithium polymer battery. Now again, the neat thing about this, you pull this out and now you've got full access to this. You undo these three uh, screws in the front, slip the tube off and you've got full access to an equipment tray that is all in one piece. There's no making up connections and taking connections apart every time you open up your cylinder. Very simple, very reliable, very easy to work on, and exceptionally high performance. Here's some other things that we're going to talk about. Um, this is the uh, receiver antenna and also the test hose. And if you've followed along with my other videos, you'll know what this is for. Uncap the end, put this underwater, blow into it, you'll pressurize it, you can look for leaks. And you want to do that before every trip to the pond, just as a bit of a hint. The other neat thing about this, there's lots of access to the hull. With bayonet style boats, typically access is one of the most challenging aspects. Um, this 
bottom panel comes off, gives you full access to the drive shaft and all of the linkages. If it does require um, additional maintenance, you can remove this whole top section of the X-tail uh, in the back, and that gives you really good access to everything in the boat. Additionally, there's also more access. Uh, you can see a couple of bolts uh, in the bottom of the sub there, and then there's one on top. When those are removed, the entire nose comes off, and now you've got access to that nose, which would be difficult if you tried to stick your arm all the way down there uh, and to the center section. So access is really, really easy. It is very simple to work on and um, it's an absolute dream to operate. It's one of those boats that you just kind of throw in the car, go to the pond, chuck it in the water, have a blast, come back, dry it off, and you're set to go next time. Let's take a look at the, uh, the actual original plastic model kit that you would see in this kit when you purchase it. This is what you're going to end up with when it arrives to your door in the original color that it comes in. Now, as I said, this is a commercially 3D printed boat. Comes with a lot of advantages doing it that way versus more traditional uh, manufacturing methodology. It's very, very thin, but it's also exceptionally strong. I'm squeezing that there with a, a lot of force and there's almost no deformation, but uh, even that little bit that there is, obviously there's no cracking. Um, it's got that flexibility and strength in there. You can see all those reinforcing bulkheads all down the inside of the boat as well. There's the, uh, the bayonet style closure. You can see the bayonet there and the locking rings. Nice and simple. And then, of course, the front. And you've got really easy access to both sides, the center section and the forward section for the installation of foam and the installation of weights. That is, like I said, a challenge with these boats uh, in the traditional way. If you, this was all one piece, it would be very difficult to get your weight and foam up into the middle or front part of the boat. Trust me, I know. Um, control surfaces, these are all set up so well. So 16th inch control uh, arms, um, they're bent in there, so there's going to be no possible way that they're going to break free and come loose on the inside. So you just simply bend them at 90 degrees and then press in the little covers, and that seam is virtually invisible once you get it in. Just a little filler you would never even know. Full set of periscopes in there as well. And then, like I said, those two little uh, hatches that we have makes getting access to everything really, really easy. So let's talk about the things that you would end up getting in this package. We're going to be offering it in a few different configurations. One is a full kit form, unassembled, everything's unassembled, the cylinder's unassembled, the boat is unassembled. This is your most economical option and the one that's going to teach you most about building RC submarines in earnest. We are going to have a step-by-step -step video walkthrough that you'll be able to follow along from start to finish all the way from raw parts through to final paint and even weathering the boat. And then along with that, we'll have some hints and tips of operating your submarine for the first time or handling a boat with this kind of speed and maneuverability for those of you who are not familiar with it. The second option is one that has a little bit more done for you. You'll end up with a fully assembled watertight cylinder. The, basically the only thing you need to do, put your receiver in it and any optional electronics that you want to install. Um, so that is a little bit less work for you, um, but it would be a little bit more money because we're going to be doing that work and we need to be compensated for it. The last one is going to be a full turnkey build. And in that particular case, the price is going to be very high because you're not taking on any of that labor yourself. And quite frankly, you're really not learning a lot about how these submarines go together. It's a simple build. 
With the instructions, it's well within the capability of anybody with basic mechanical and electrical understanding. You'll be able to walk through front to back and you'll have the knowledge and joy and satisfaction of having built your very own RC submarine. So there you go, a little overview of this dynamic diving, 172nd scale German class 212 from your friends at the Nautilus Dry Docks. Now, as I mentioned, this is gonna be available for pre-order right now at an incentivized price for the first 10 people that order the kit. Uh, after that, it's gonna to jump to the uh, normal price and it will be uh, shipping probably within the next 30 days. So that's gonna be uh, on or about the end-ish of April. Uh, no promises on that, but that would be roughly when we're gonna start seeing the first kits being shipped out. The video instructions will be posted up on my channel and I'll put the link to that in the uh, description of this video. So if you're interested in grabbing this kit at a discounted price, being one of the first peoples to own it, um, jump on over to the link, which will also be in the description of this video. Uh, go ahead and grab it and uh, we'll be sure to send you one of the first kits that rolls off the line. On behalf of uh, Bob and Jason here at the Nautilus Dry Docks, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, do like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot here. If you have questions or comments, I always love to hear from you. You can email me anytime, bob at nautilusdrydocks.com or drop a comment. I'll check in from time to time. With that, we're going to let you go. Have a great day and we'll catch you next time.